Hi there! Today we are going to look at teaching the shell game. My name is Adele, this is my dog Misty today, and we are Animal Tactics. Okay, here we go. Today we are going to look at teaching the shell game. Now this game, what we are doing is actually kicking into the dog's nose and nasal sensors. As we all know, dogs have an amazing sense of smell and this is a great game to play with your dog as a precursor to doing nose works at a more advanced stage in the upper levels. Um, and also if you're wanting to do nose works with your dogs or search and rescue with your dogs later on in a more professional field. So today I have some amazingly yummy and extremely smelly dog treats. They are fish. Blah. Stink for us humans, but for dogs, prime real estate right here. She will work for anything to get a piece of this little fish right here. So I'm just going to treat her for that now because she's sitting so nicely. So what I'm going to do is actually hide one of these big fish and grab a nice big one here and pop that underneath or inside one of these terracotta pots. Now I have purchased a terracotta pot from my cheap shop and these have a nice little hole in the bottom of them which is fantastic so they can really start to smell the object that you're putting in. So again, I highly recommend something that has a really strong smell for your dog. Um, I am using um, the fish today. However, uh, you may, if you go into the advanced uh, nose works, end up using birch or eucalyptus or something. <laughs> She's already smelling them. That is a bit more noticeable. Yes, good girl. Come get it back here. Good job. So that's ideally what we're going to be doing with the shell game. What we're going to do is pop that treat underneath one of the terracotta pots. You're going to move it around. And what we're wanting to do is get the dog to indicate, Misty back here, exactly where that treat is. You are not going to click and reward and give them the treat that's inside that pot. What we're going to do is treat them straight here from our hand. That also builds a bond with you, but lets them know that we're actually not going to retrieve that treat from there. Okay, so I use the keyword find it. Okay, so what I've done now is I have popped a treat under the terracotta pot. I'm going to move it around. I actually can't recall where it is now. Right here. We're going to move it around and then we're going to teach your dog to go find it. She's found it. Yes, well done. We're going to click and reward. Ideally, we want your dog to drop or give a nose indicator or a paw on that container. Come. Good girl. So, I'm going to move that again now. Misty, find it. Yes, and see how she's laid down there and she's popped her nose on there. She knows exactly where it was. Again, that's all to do with the nice strong smell. Misty, find it. Drop reward. Yes, so we're wanting her. Now, if your dog is not dropping, what you're going to want to do is when they found it, then initially just click and reward. Find it. Yes, click and reward. Move them away. Move that around. Waiting. Click and reward. You have to be quick, as you can tell. Where is it? Go find it. So I've added the Q word find it. Uh-uh. She gets the wrong one. Sorry about the butt view there. Yes, good girl. She found it that time. So she gets really excited when it comes to anything nose work related. Make sure you're moving them around. As you get into the higher levels, you do need to, yes, good girl. You could tell that she sniffed that one out there. Next time I'm going to wait for that drop. I want that indicator. Go find it. Uh-uh. Where's it gone? When she drops in front of it, then she will get it. At this stage, she's not giving me that indication. Yes, good girl. She got it then. Good job. So there's our little fish. I'm going to move that around again. Where is it? Go find it. 
drop and then she gets the reward. So that's basically shell game. Really easy game. It also helps with their nose, their sensory. It's a fun one. Lots of mental stimulation. Anything to do with nose works is extremely tiring. Find it. She knows it's there. She's like, I'm just going to nudge it around. Yes, good girl. So I don't reward her until she does that drop. Really, really important. Every now and again, I'll throw in a fish treat instead of her kibble or cheese. Find it. We're going to wait for that drop, remember? Misty, find it. Sorry about the butt viewer then again, guys. Where's, where is it? Where's it gone? You're going to find it. Oh, she flicked it over. That was cheeky. And she's retrieved it from under there. So, yes, dogs will do that if they can. Come on, Misty. Here, heal up. Good girl. But she found it in the end. So, there we go. Let's just pop another one under. Stay. Now, it's okay if your dog sees where you're putting these treats. At this stage, I would use the same container for the treat because smells will transfer over into the containers that you're using. So I've just got a little T written on the bottom here in a pen on the little sticker. Um, that then shows me that this is the container that I'm gonna put the treat in. Smells, again, will transfer from material to material. So um, I don't use treats in these two containers. I always use the same one. When I stack them, I then kick this this container separate from the other two okay same when you're using um, nose works later on with socks or towels or any kind of clothing material um, if you put them inside drawers say you're using a tea towel and you put that towel inside a drawer with other tea towels that smell will transfer across so you really are wanting to keep things separate when you are doing nose works um, vitally important especially if you can go on and do the more advanced levels okay so I'm just going to drive her away again I've just got some kibble here let me just get her out of view I'm going to move these around last couple of times so we've got it over here Misty go find it oh, she's busy sniffing out kibble at the moment Misty good girl you got it yeah come yes go find it find it Where's your fish? Uh -oh. Find it. And we're going to wait for that drop. Yes, yeah, so sometimes you may need to um, cue your dog to drop or pause on or chin rest. Um, if you're going to go on and do your expert advanced titles and grand champions, they do want an indicator without that clawing and pouring at the object or the pot so ideally a chin rest or a pour on is is perfect i just get her to drop in front of it that way she's not touching it as you can see she's looking to me for the reward rather than the container which is perfect so that is shell game guys i hope you've enjoyed that today a simple one to learn can be lots of fun and extremely mentally tiring for your dog have a great day and we'll see you again soon misty go find it Good girl. I hope you enjoyed our tutorial today. Please give us a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss our weekly releases. If you would like to see more videos of this level, check out our playlists. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram. Links are in our description below.